today we are going to be ranking all the 19 yield max ETFs. But before we get started, let's go over the rules of this tier list. So there's going to be multiple rounds to this. We got S tier, six points, but only two ETFs can be there. A tier, four points, four ETFs are there. B tier, three points, five ETFs. C tier, two points, five ETFs again and D tier 1.3 ETFs. And then we're gonna add up all these points to the end and get the overall grade of each yield max ETF. So for the first round, we're gonna be comparing the volatility. This round is worth 40% of the total grade and it's based off 30, IV, 30 day IV. And this basically just tells us which ETF can generate the higher premiums and or put the calls further out for more capital appreciation. Also note some events or market conditions may be elevating some of these IVs currently. So keep an eye on that. You know, even earnings elevates the IV. So let's get started. All right, so we should probably get some of the most obvious ones out of the way. If you guys guessed Zomo, yes, that's the Zomo logo, Exxon Mobile. It is it it has one of the lowest IVs right now currently at nineteen point four percent. These ads are annoying. I wish I could get them out of you. Uh, let's uh let's let's give it a tier out right now. Let's give out the first A tier. We got Block. Uh, they have a thirty day IV of fifty eight point two percent. No earnings in sight even. So they got great volatility. Uh, let's take Arc here. Where's ARC going to go? Uh, uh, no, it's going in B, B tier. Not bad, but, uh, you know, it's right in the middle of the road. ARC has a 35.7% uh, 30-day IV. All right, I want to give out, you know, let's give out another obvious one here. Let's take out JP Morgan, put it back in the D tier with Zomo. It has a very similar IV to Zomo at 20.9%. Now, I think we should give out our first S tier. And I think you guys know it. It's Misty. They got the highest IV sitting at 137.6%. All right. Uh, let's do... Should we do NVIDIA? All right. NVIDIA is going all the way up. No, it's going to B tier. I was surprised when I was looking at this too. Their IV is still higher than ARC though, so we'll put it in front there. Um, yeah, they only got a 42.7% IV. You know, they're still getting points for this round, and I think they can make it up in later rounds because, you know, this ETF has been killing it. But yeah, they're just so large now that uh, big movements are less expected. Now let's go to GUI. Let's do GUI. Where is Google here? Google's going right in C tier. It was uh it was pretty close to D tier, but they have a 30-day IV of 32.2%. And AMSI is gonna lead the C tier right there at 35.3% 30-day IV. Now I know this one, I don't know what happened to the logo here. This one is AMDY. It's going up above NVIDIA, guys. That is crazy. AMD, their 30-day IV is at 49.7%. Now, let's take PayPal. PayPal is... No, B tier. B tier for PayPal, their IV is like the same as ARC's actually, 35.7%. So that is it for PayPal. Block is the more volatile fintech out of this bunch. Next up, we got Meta. I love Meta. I have lots of Phoebe, Phoebe shares. But uh, yeah, I was surprised with this one too. It's going in B tier. I thought it was going to be in C tier with other Meg 7s that we got right there right now. But uh, no, their 30-day IV is 48.1%. I know. I definitely wasn't expecting that. Next up, we got Apple. Can Apple get up there with Meta? No, it can't. It's going in with the other Meg 7 bunch. Apple is really close to D tier, but only three can go in the D tier. 
uh, their 30-day IV is 23.4%, which they just beat Disney. They just beat Disney there. Uh, Disney is at 23.10%. Next up, you know, A is kind of looking a little bit empty there. Is it going to be coin going up there? No, coin's going to S tier. Uh, their IV is 89.5%. So basically 30% higher than the highest A tier right here, which is square or block at 58.2%. Next up, oh, we got Microsoft. Now looking at Microsoft, I'd be guessing it's going in C tier. And I'd be right. It's going ahead, just ahead of Apple there. 24.7% uh, is the IV for Microsoft. So yeah, pretty, pretty low there. And you know, when we hear the yield max uh, fund manager saying, if you look at the IV, you can guess the dividend. Microsoft's dividend is usually above that 24.7% mark, which is definitely interesting. Next up, we got C3AI. So they are actually going up to A tier. They have a, they have a 52.4% 30-day IV, which is really good. And uh, I thought it'd be closer to NVIDIA, actually, because of the AI hype. They're more correlated, but the market cap is very low on C3 AI. So those big movements are more easy for it. Next up... Where is Moderna going? If I had to guess, it would be B tier. And by looking at my notes here, yes, I am right. It's going to be the first one in the B tier with a 48.4% IV. Now, I think we got to fix this B tier up here. Yeah. Put PayPal. Uh, Nvidia. Phoebe is actually second. Yeah, there we go. All right, next up, we got Netflix. Netflix is going right in between Microsoft and Google there. Their IV is 26.8%. So that leaves us, last but not least, Tesla. Tesla is second in A tier. Uh, they're rocking 53% uh, IV. So... What do you guys think of this tier list? Obviously, some big winners in there by far. There's a S tier plus plus. Misty and Coney should be in there. Uh, yeah, I, nothing really shocking here. I didn't expect Nvidia to be in B tier, but the rest looks pretty good to me. So, round one is now over. We will see how the S tiers do in round two when we take a look at their underlying aka the synthetic portion of yield max so this round is worth 40 percent s tiers getting six points a tiers getting four points b tiers getting three points c tiers getting two and d tier is only coming out with one point stay tuned for the next parts they should be out very shortly thanks for watching